so you know what guys we've got something very special here this is the uh the h1 sq you know what i was going to talk you through this but who better than the guy that built it the inventor and the brains behind the operation dave come on get yourself in there and let the guys know all about it cheers ben as you know we've had the uh, we've had some great success with the h1 but it's limited in that it's just a h pan shifter and i know many of you out there you, you know You've messaged me on the privacy. It would be so nice to have a, a dual mode shifter. And I suppose we've been promising one for a long time, but due to the amount of demand for the H1, I haven't had time to, uh, to do this earlier. So over the last few months, I've been uh, sweating away, beavering away. And I've come up with this, which is basically the H1 SQ dual mode shifter. Now, not a fan of showing our internals, However, I want guys to see what you get for your money. You know, you don't just get a piece of tube with a shaft in it, and it, with the quality of what you get in the build. So basically this is the actual prototype of the H1 SQ. And there's a couple of things, you know, ignore like the fact there's no covers on the ends and, you know, wrong bolt in there type thing, or not the origin adjuster and this, but this is just a demo of what we've got for you. So you've got H mode as normal, okay, with a tension adjuster. Now this tension adjuster is not as large as the uh, H1 bazooka, but the spring is every bit as strong. Now that's allowed a big saving to you and us in manufacture and overall costs. And this is what we tried to do. So there's your H. So once it's in the neutral position, you can then use this lever and there's your sequential. And again, you can adjust the tension and then to flip it back, it's a simple back into H mode. Now the electronics in this one, again, listening to you guys, you about the micro switches, concerns about those. Although I have to be honest, we've sold 500 plus now of the uh, bazooka and had very little trouble with micro switches, but we have now got our own control board, USB, it is bespoke. You won't find it anywhere else. It is our board. It's unique to BDH racing hardware. And on top of that, we have also now using the uh, hall sensors. Now they're not currently fitted to this, but they will fit in here and you will have an output with a USB-C. So if you wish to change the lead, which was another point people mentioned, you'll be able to customize and put whatever length of lead, type of lead, grade of lead you want, as long as it's USB-C. So that is also there. The software that's on the board is our own software and it has been written. So this happens when you're in H mode, you have got your one to eight, which is six, seven and reverse, whichever way you want to configure it. But once you flick this and go into sequential mode, it will disable the H pattern completely. And then it turns the sensors that operate third and fourth gear to ninth and 10th gear. That then enables you to go into content manager in a set or courser or, um, any of the other setup screens on any of the sims and program a sequential using that and it's instant switch when you hit that lever that's all you do you're not just changing it mechanically it changes the software so there's no need to mess about going back in and altering your profiles or getting on the start line in h mode and realize you're in a sequential and have to come out the game and rejoin and and miss the race so we have tried to We've taken on board everything and uh, hopefully with this as well, because it's not as elaborate with as many large billet machined parts, we're hoping that this will be a very good price for you and very attractive. So uh, yeah, thank you very much. <laughs>